Machine learning operations, or ML ops, is the set of principles and techniques used to systematize and automate various parts of machine learning workflows and pipelines. Edge ML ops is simply the application of such principles to Edge ML deployments. As we'll see, Edge ML ops can be trickier than cloud based ML ops due to the nature of managing lots of end user or embedded IoT devices. DevOps is a combination of software development and IT operations. It includes the practices and techniques to automate various development processes and to encourage collaboration between the development and operations teams. Machine learning adds more to the mix as it includes data gathering, analysis, and processing, as well as model training, deployment, and monitoring. Most ML models have applications developed around them to make them useful, so the software development side cannot be neglected. If you are scaling deployment to more than one device or want to customize model training for each deployment environment, you should consider adopting some ML ops practices, including automating at least some of your pipeline. You also need to consider how your input data or operating environment might change over time. This will lead to something known as model drift or model decay. After some time, you will likely notice that your model does not behave like it once did, and you should have a method for updating it. Automating the processes for monitoring model performance and updating that model in the field is a very big part of ML ops, and this holds true for Edge AI as well. So why should you care about Edge ML ops? First, it shortens your development cycle and time to market by systematizing various processes. You can also see increases in reliability, performance, and security with your Edge AI systems. Finally, by standardizing and automating model development and deployment, you can free up time for your engineering teams to tackle new projects, rather than repeating the same one over and over again. Let's take a moment to review the Edge AI lifecycle. To create an Edge AI system, you need to collect data, which is often stored in a large database or other service. From there, you clean the data and through analysis and engineering, generate features that are fed into the machine learning model. You use a machine learning algorithm to train the model. You then test and iterate as needed to get a model that can provide predictions and insights about the data as accurately as possible. Once you are happy with the performance, you then deploy the model, which can include developing or updating application code to use the model's insights to meet business or social needs. The model and application are then deployed to your end devices or edge servers to perform inference on real-world input. This act of processing new data in the deployment environment is known as prediction serving. The phrase is mostly used in cloud machine learning where the model is configured to perform inference as a cloud-based service rather than on a local machine. So it may or may not directly apply to edge AI, but it's good to be aware of the term. Finally, operations and maintenance, or O&M, become important in ML ops, as you need to monitor the model and application's performance and provide updates and support as necessary. As you can probably guess, ML ops is most often a team effort, as it requires experience from multiple domains. This includes collaboration by data scientists, data engineers, machine learning researchers, machine learning engineers, software developers, and operations specialists. Sometimes you'll also have business analysts in the mix to help evaluate important metrics as they relate to the company's goals. MLOps, which includes Edge MLOps, is concerned with three main areas when it comes to managing these processes version control, automation, and governance. Let's look at each one of these in a little more detail. I'm sure you've had that moment when you forgot to save and lost all your work. This happens in machine learning and software development too. The problem gets worse when you are working on a team and people can easily overwrite data or code that you've been working on. Or perhaps you change something minor and the application suddenly no longer works. You want the ability to roll back your changes to a previous version. Tools like Git and GitHub offer ways for software teams to merge changes, roll back versions, and update programs in a systematic way. It works well for code, but not so much for other files, which includes raw data for machine learning. In reality, you want to be able to control all aspects of your AI lifecycle. 
In addition to your code, this includes things like your data, deployment mechanisms, and operating systems. Version control allows you to easily roll back changes, reproduce and troubleshoot errors, and enhance collaboration among your various team members. Now, let's talk about how we can automate various steps in the lifecycle to create repeatable processes. Just about every step in this lifecycle can be automated, but you need to think carefully about how and why you want to automate something. First is the data collection process. This might be triggered manually, on a schedule, or from an automated monitoring process in the field. Automating the collection process might entail having one or more field devices start sending raw data back to the data storage location for later analysis. Automating the data cleaning process can be triggered manually, on a schedule, or by the presence of new data in storage. Tools like AWS Glue perform operations known as Extract, Transform, Load, or ETL, to help data scientists clean and organize large amounts of raw data. Similarly, Edge Impulse has support for custom transformation blocks, which allow users to automate their data loading and cleaning processes. The feature engineering process is usually set by data scientists or the machine learning engineering team. As a result, the exact methods of extracting features are usually set and therefore already automated if you need to run them again. However, what if you wanted to automatically determine new and better ways of extracting features whenever, say, new data shows up in your storage? A great way to do that is to actually incorporate feature engineering into your AutoML tools. AutoML, or automated machine learning, are the techniques used to design, train, and test machine learning models with little or no human input. This often includes data loading and cleaning as well. Edge Impulse's Eon Tuner allows you to try various combinations of feature extraction methods and ML models to see what performs the best and what will run on your Edge devices. As with previous stages of the lifecycle, you can trigger AutoML to run manually, on a set schedule, or whenever you have new data available. Once you are happy with the model performance, or your AutoML tools determine that the model works well enough according to your metrics, it's time to deploy. In cloud-based AI setups, your model is moved to an inference server that can be accessed through a web API. The prediction serving application runs on the inference server with the model, and it responds to external requests from various clients. This might be a request directly from your laptop or another service, such as your Netflix account, asking for a recommendation. The request contains the raw data, and the server responds with the prediction results. If you are running an edge prediction service, this setup can be easily replicated on your own servers. However, it becomes a bit trickier when you want to deploy models to lots of different end devices. To perform automatic updates, you either need to ask your user to update the firmware manually, say by plugging the device into a USB port on their computer, or you need to enable something that is pushed out to the device. If you are updating a wirelessly connected device, this is known as an over-the-air or OTA update. On phones and full computers, you have the advantage of running a full operating system that can easily perform updates to itself or various installed programs. But OTA updates on microcontrollers is much trickier, as many do not run operating systems with these update capabilities by default. As a result, you often need to use special firmware and OTA features offered by IoT platforms like AWS IoT Core, Microsoft Azure, Goliath, Particle, and Blues. The one part we did not discuss yet when it comes to deployment is the software development side, as you often need to have an application written to use your trained model effectively. While the planning and creation of application code is often done by humans, the verification, packaging, releasing, and configuration can often be automated. Such automation can be accomplished with sets of tools and techniques known as continuous integration and continuous delivery, or CI-CD. Finally, we should look at automation for the O&M stage of our pipeline. This often involves monitoring various usage metrics as well as how well the model is performing in deployment. More often than not, you will experience something called model drift. Let's say you capture statistics about how well your model is performing in the field and you plot its accuracy. You will likely find that the accuracy will slowly drop over time. This might be days, weeks, months, or even years. Models themselves don't actually lose accuracy. 
as they just make predictions based on what was in the training data. However, two major factors can create model drift. The first is data drift. This is when the production data being fed to the model starts to deviate from what was in the original training data. As a result, the model no longer reflects the current set of expected data. For example, this might occur if you trained a predictive maintenance model on vibration data in the summer. If you didn't account for seasonal weather changes and how temperature might affect machine vibrations, you might experience data drift come wintertime. As a result, you might need to retrain your model to better reflect either the current season or train with data from all seasons. The next is concept drift. This happens when the underlying relationship between input features and target variables changes. Let's say we've developed a great spam detection system that identifies 99.9% .9 of all email spam. Well, spammers will likely figure out how that system works and find workarounds. So while our model still works at finding old forms of spam, a new relationship has been created that allows different spam through our filters. Once again, this requires collecting new data, retraining, and redeploying your model. Monitoring how well your model is performing in the field and understanding the different forms of drift will help you know when to kick off another automated pipeline flow to keep your Edge AI application running at peak performance. The final Edge ML Ops principle is governance. First, this involves handling and managing your data to meet all laws and regulations. This includes laws like HIPAA if you are working with medical data in the United States or GDPR if you are collecting user data in the European Union. As regulations catch up to the technological advances in AI, we will likely start to see laws enacted around ensuring model explainability, which means being able to accurately describe why a particular decision was made. Part of this explainability process means using clear documentation and communication when creating machine learning systems. Not only does it provide traceability and historical data for audits, it also helps foster better collaboration among your various ML ops teams. Additionally, you should check your data and model for fairness, biases, and other ethical considerations that might not be present in laws and regulations. Finally, as with any edge computing project, you should employ best practices when it comes to information security. That includes confidentiality to protect sensitive data from unauthorized access, integrity to ensure that data has not been altered, and availability, which means that the data can be accessed by authorized users when needed. Several MLOps tools exist on the market to help you manage different aspects of your AI workflow. One example is TensorFlow Extended, or TFX. Another is AWS SageMaker. And yet another is ClearML. None of these are optimized for Edge AI, which is where Edge Impulse comes in. You can configure various parts of your machine learning pipeline using the graphical interface known as Studio. But you can also script the Edge Impulse workflow using the Web API and Python SDK. Edge ML Ops is extremely important if you want to deploy your Edge machine learning application in a production capacity. Such systematizing and automation enables you to scale production, increase reliability, and shorten your development time. In the next video, we will look at how Edge Impulse can be used for both building models as well as automating various processes to meet these Edge ML Ops needs.